Now, last but not least in our common flaws and issues is electromagnetic radiation, sometimes referred to as EMR. EMR emanations are fairly easy to intercept. In fact, you can read the monitor of any particular standard computer monitor from another room. In fact, it's been shown that you, with the right equipment, can be sitting in a van outside a building and can read the contents of any monitor within an average size building. Now, the huge buildings that have large spaces and distances between them, there's a signal degradation factor there. But it's possible to read electromagnetic radiation from a fairly surprising distance. Now, what can we do about this? Shielding and physical controls can avoid interception. Now, the physical controls effectively mean increasing the distance between any device that does emit EMR and the possibility of an intruder or some attacker getting close enough with the equipment to read the EMR. The farther away the equipment is, the less likely it is that you'll be able to intercept. Now, EMR is not only necessary or possible through monitors. You can also monitor the electrical signals going through particular cables. So in that case, shielding may help substantially. This problem was so large, or suspected to be so large, that the U.S. Department of Defense started a project called the Tempest Project. The purpose of the Tempest Project was to analyze the susceptibility and the viability of EMR reception. What they found was surprising. They found that it was fairly easy. And in fact, it's not only easy to intercept EMR, it's also pretty hard to protect against it. The best you can do is to shield any EMR emissions as best you can and attempt to use physical controls to keep attackers away as far as possible.